Hey folks, Andrew Bopros here. I want to do a quick video on potentially the feel-good story of the Chargers this season. We may have our new DeAndre Carter. His name is John Hightower. So let's get into it. Bull Bros. All right, folks. As always, like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. I'm Andrew with the Bolt Bros. So let's get into it. So uh, John Hightower, interesting uh, story with him. Uh, you know, he was a Juco transfer. He went to uh, Heinz Community College 2016, served for two years, then eventually transferred to Boise State, right? He was somewhat prolific there at Boise State, did really well. Uh, played 10 total games, uh, 31 receptions for 507 yards, six touchdowns. Look, he did well. He was also a kick returner, much like a, much like a Darius Davis. It's a good way of looking at him, you know, fast, quick. Did a lot of things. He averaged 24.6 yards per kick return and returned one for the score. Again, like a Darius Davis, right? So he, he's he got a lot of speed. The combine in 2020, he impressed. And again, he did very well in the combine, right? That's a big reason why he was drafted where he was. He had a 4.43 in the 40-yard dash alongside a 38.5-inch vertical. 7.03 three-cone drill later that spring. He eventually be selected by the Eagles in the 23rd pick in the fifth round, right? So... Look, the man has talent. Uh, obviously, he you know, was with the Eagles. Um, but let's look at the stats of the Eagles, right? And I think this is where I find this an interesting conversation, right? Because when you get drafted, you don't get to pick the team you get drafted to, right? You get picked because that team wanted something you have. Didn't quite work out for the Eagles uh, with him, right? He had only 10 receptions, 29 targets for around 200 yards. He averaged 16.7 yards per attempt or catch. I should say his long was for 59. You can see this video, uh, regarding his big catch, right? You know, so look, you know, he did okay with the Eagles, not, not very well, but it is what it is, right? The man has talent. He has speed. This is where the argument comes into play. Is he in the wrong system? Well, I'll tell you right now, Folks, he looked really good uh, in at camp. I, I mean, I was beyond impressed with uh, with this man. I mean, he looked absolutely fantastic. Now, so again, a lot of people are talking about his presence being felt in training camp. Again, I was there with no pads on, and he made a lot of plays. There was this one play where he was he caught the ball on the sidelines, fell down. Looks like he got punched in the castanas. You know, the baby maker, the AKA you know, nuggets, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And he came back in and made some more plays. I was like, man, this guy's got grit. You could tell he's out there putting everything on the line. Right. So like I said, I really do think he could be the feel good story. The, 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 the season now, whether he plays a lot, guys, it's going to be tough, right? You know, you know, uh, it's been, it's been crazy, but again, I thought, well, okay, maybe the pads will come on. He won't do great, man. Monday, he balled out as well. Two touchdowns on seven on seven drills and land in another score late in practice on the 11 on 11s with pads. <laughs> okay. Look at the end of the day, he's looking really good, right? I mean, you can see the videos. There's all kinds of videos on the chargers page and all the above, but again, uh, again, 4.43 speed at the combine. He definitely has the ability. He's got a lot of height. You know, he's, he's looking really good. And again, the argument could be Guyton's recovery right? Is Guyton going to be back? Um, all these passes you saw with him were the deep threats and that's really Guyton's role, but you don't know what's going to happen. He's still on the pup list. He's still not in pra in camp or doing anything at this moment. Who knows what his situation is going to be, right? So again, the Chargers already have five receivers, Kenan Allen, Mike Williams, Quentin Johnson, Josh Palmer, Darius Davis. Well, if Guyton doesn't stick around, Hightower could be the guy, right? Doss doesn't look great. I didn't see much from him so far. Um, and also, I will say that um, our boy 83, why am I drawing a blank on his name, from Florida State, oh, Pokey Wilson, didn't do a whole lot, right? Like, really, Hightower did a ton. He did a ton to move up his value with the Chargers. So I'm pretty excited to see where we're at. Again, guys, I don't want this to be a super long video, but – I like feel good stories, right? DeAndre Carter last year was a good feel good story. He absolutely kicked butt, did great, did a lot of things for the Chargers. I'm excited to see him sign with another team. And again, you know, Hightower could be our guy. So, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I know this is a short video, but I just want to throw something out there. I like the underdog. I'm 
you know, I, he looked really great out there. So I'm excited to see what he can do moving forward. So just wanted to highlight Hightower and uh, let you know that he's looking great. So guys, as always, Andrew Bopros, see you guys in the next one.